What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Pokedex and today we are opening the one and only Brilliant Stars. This is my favorite set from Sword and Shield. I am super excited to open this, so let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. I am super pumped to do this video, so let's get right into it. Okay, I'm going to start off by cutting the top of it. So the angle might be a little bit messed up today because I have it in a certain uh, area. Why am I opening it up and down? Yeah, I have it on a certain area, so that should... Alright, that does it. I'm going to pop the top. This is way easier than the Japanese version because you literally can just pop it on. Nah, let me get my sleeves. Alright. So, y'all can see the box. Pretty sure. Right there. Alright, let's go on this first pack. Alright, let's do it. So, Brilliant Stars is, I think, one of the third or fourth uh, sets of. Oh! Whoa! Guys! We already hit it up with an RCS Star Rainbow. This is holy heck. Okay, um, sleeves. That is already good. As I was saying, this is one of my favorite sets from Short and Shield. This has a, like, great amount of hits. This is why I love this set. So, let's get into the second pack. Okay, so I'm looking forward to getting, dude. The hits is or okay. I don't know why I peeped in that pack, but I can tell you that there are a low ton of trainer galleries inside of the set. I'm so pumped to open this. Uh, I'm gonna do it a little more slowly so I can like enjoy this one. Can't be tapped. So there is trainer galleries. And, uh, other kinds of galleries, like, if you ever open the set Lost Origin, there is a Pikachu VMAX, it's Red's Pikachu, that is, uh, the card. So I haven't been posting a lot of videos, I'm really busy. I think that's a normal average. Yeah, but Lost Origin, Red's Pikachu, that was a white code card pack. Black code card packs of everything. So, all I'm going to say about the Charizard packs is that they literally always have a black code card for some weird reason. I think it's just luck with me. And I told you, a Trinity Gallery. Okay. Charizard? Oh, no, more Peko V. That's so good, though. I love more Peko. So, I feel my sister's favorite Pokemon, so so I have some respect for Morpeko. Morpeko is one of the, like, I think he's in the Pikachu, uh, I don't know how to say it, like, Pikachu's kind of family. Hard to say. Uh, trying to hide the cards, because I don't want to spoil the the card and stuff. We still have more packs to go. Okay. I can see the... What? Did I just bend that? Oh no. Oh, I just bent it. Huh. I don't know why I do that. Okay, um... Uh... Oh, Mewtwo! That's cool. I like that card. Alright, sorry I had to reset up because my stuff wasn't going well. I'm gonna move these out of the way so I can, uh, open the packs. It's kinda hard when I have to open the packs and see the cards on the desk at the same time. So there's that. Alright. That's the way. Axrew, Melon Pass, Barrelum, and Hethrin Rare. Hethrin literally always comes at the most unexpected time. In Astral Radiance, there's a Radiant... Okay. If I am not wrong, it's just a black... No. I was wrong. Okay, so it's not a source of luck. Technically, it's just 
a me thing with the Charizard art, black code card kind of thing. All right, uh, there is an Arceus in the set that is pretty rare. Hopefully, why do I keep opening the packs that way? Is it getting damaged? I don't know, I just Okay, uh, professors, research, and then a warm room. I'm gonna use the scissors now. I don't want to damage the cards anymore. Because damaging the cards is a lot. I don't want to damage a Charizard if we pull one through. So, just being cautious. It's probably gonna be slower if I open it with a uh, scissors. It's gonna be slower, but it's more safety for the cards. And I wore them. We need some hype. We gotta pull some stuff. Let's go, really, stars. Speed this up a little more and get the hype going. Just the problem with me opening this, embedding the cards inside by like opening it from the back, pulling the side off. Oh, a hollow internet. 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 So we got a hollow internet. If you guys have been then posted on the media, uh, you should go check out Card Party. Being hosted in June. Hopefully, a lot of people. Oh! Charizard! Let's go! Let's go! I told you! Let's go! That is literally a Charizard. That was good to start it off. So, we are going hot fire with brilliant stars today. As you can already tell, we have four hits. That Arceus is enough for me today. That card's worth a lot. I mean,. Really rare. Uh, happy to pull that. Yeah, I'm pulling the side on the pack. Why do I keep doing that? I'm literally trashing this pack. Hold on. Okay. There is a Mew in this set, I'm pretty sure. No, we must got. I thought it was a Mew first. I saw the psychic. Uh, I took the Mew I'm thinking of is the one from Ash. No, not Astral Radiant. Crown Phoenix. The set I get really mixed up. Because on our previous video, we did Beastar Universe. So I'm getting mixed up with Astral Radiance. Okay, if I'm not wrong, there still are hits in kind of like. So that. Did I just spoil that? Oh, it. Is Celeremy? A Celeremy? I think that card's... I've never seen this card. This looks pretty rare. Okay, so we got an Acceleremi. I'm just going out for the Charizard today, or an Arceus. A Charizard and an Arceus will do it for me. Okay, so... I think these will be our last four packs for our Mega Pack. Let's see if those over there. Alright, well, Scott, let's go. So... I don't know how I know all the names of the pack artwork. I think it's Shaman, Wimmiscott, Charizard. Okay, and Arceus. That see order. Okay, Michiko and Flagon. You guys just play the uh, Scarlet and Violet video game, Nintendo. That one looks fire. The game is pretty fun. I like it. Honestly, oh, you should play it. I'm not really into Pokemon video games. They're not really my thing. But I love the trading cards. Alright. Will this Charizard pack give us something good? <sighs> Man, this Charizard pack give us something. I remember when I used to open cards. I used to save all the Charizard packs. And then I would think they had something good. Okay. Hold on. Okay. You know how I'm a good guesser? It is... <sighs> I forgot the name. Looks like Electabuzz, but it's like a Jaguar. Oh, yeah, got it. Raikou. I literally am a guess guessing. I don't know how. I've seen these cards so many times. Because I open really stars a lot. So it's super fun for me. Because I can literally just look at the cards and be like, that's what I'm getting. I can't really see it with the... Cause there's only like at least 15 Vs in every single set of Sword and Shield. So there's only so many you can get. 
Rhymer? No. Alright, Cafe Master, then. Oh, Thornadus. Okay, as we're there. I'm glad I'm not trash in this area now. I'm getting better at putting the cards to the side and just throwing them on the floor. Because it's usually. I usually get like the. I'll get the. Pa Hold on. Okay, I literally almost. Okay, why am I peeking? Okay. Guys. If I'm not going to be wrong. Okay. I'm used. I knew it. Sylvia and VMAX. Literally, I, I saw it. I was like, is that a Sylveon? Because I pulled that card multiple times. And I was like, is that a Sylveon? Is that not? This card is beautiful. I love Sylveon. As you guys can see, I'm going to show you. This card is literally so beautiful. I pulled this card once. And I really loved it. Uh, I think I sent it out to get it great. Did we send it out? No. Okay, so we didn't send it out to get graded. I put it in a video I never posted. And then, yeah. That was like my first time doing it. Starlight and then Ixavler. Okay, so, so far we are getting good stuff. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a twist to this. I'm gonna put all four Charizard packs. Sorry, Mega Pack. I'm gonna put four Charizard packs for that. And then I'm gonna prove to you guys that I get luck on every single Charizard pack. It's just gonna be a black code card. I'm telling you. I'm obsessed with black code cards because obviously y'all should be too. Because you know what black code cards mean, right? Hitch. Um, there is a turner dollar. Alright, Houndoom and uh, Electrifier. I always got mixed up with Electrifier because I remember it was Electrobuzz wasn't a Pokemon. I mean, Electrifier wasn't a Pokemon. And then, if you guys ever open Evolutions, Electrobuzz is in there. Oh, there's no Electrifier. Uh, Electrifier is like new gen, I'm pretty sure. Electrifier didn't start coming in until like 2017. Makes sense. Oh, uh, I forgot to say that Houndoom. I am losing my mind today, guys. It is literally Tuesday, and I am losing my mind. Well, I'm not losing my mind in a bad way, I'm just cringy. I'm like, what am I doing? This is a white code card, like that kind of cringe. Creeping over. If I'm not right, I know the numbers of a Charizard. Top five. Is this a V? Oh, hold up. There is a... Okay, Raichu V. I thought that was going to be the Charizard. Because okay. there is a Charizard... It's a Charizard V uh, full art like this. Sort of... It's rarity is super high. At least we still got a Raichu. Raichu is one of my favorite Pokemons. So, I love you Raichu. Of course, I guess I'm my favorite Pokemon Pikachu. Pikachu's. I think everybody would know who Pikachu is since it's like the number one Pokemon. Hold on. Is a hit? Oh, Garchomp. Thought there was a hit there because usually when you like peek at the pack, you can see the hollow. Like, I'm thinking this is vivid voltage because of the amazing rares. This is all these sets are literally so similar. So. I really want to talk about Lost Origin and how Lost Origin has white code cards, alternate arts. I was wrong. They do not have this inside of Brilliant Stars. I literally just figured that out from this box. This box literally told me. I'm, I'm literally not wrong. Yeah, I, I can show you. Or this is bad luck. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is. Oh, I thought that was an energy. So there's not energy where. I, why am I thinking these freaking crazy? I hate picking brilliant stars as crazy. I do not know what just happened. Hagedek is losing his mind today. Uh, what? Okay, we'll just go straight through this. Oh, why am I opening it like that? Okay, mention. 
non hollow. Okay. I'm just gonna put this away so I can do this. So that's how I have the multicam on both sides now, so you guys can see our hits more fluently and better, better quality. But pull a charger on today, would be awesome. Charger, I just skipped my card. Farfetch. Gorton? No, Dragon was one. Drinking Lotion was like, I think it should have been a back artwork. Let's say it right. Drink. His name. Durg. Durguin? Durguin? Durguin or something. I think it should have been a pack art because. Why do I keep thinking it's Crown Zenith? There's a Crown Zenith card, it's a trainer gallery of that card. I'm not sure if it's from. Really sorry. Because if I'm not wrong, Crown Zenith uses cards from Million Stars. Like that one Treasure V Star we pulled earlier, that card is inside of Crown Zenith. It's just a different design. I pulled that card once on the channel. Like once. Alright. I'm not hoping it going down. Okay. Luxio and Gorlock. All right, our last two packs are right here. Same in one is off. I have one is off. Let's go. Let's go. We have not pulled a charger or an alternate artwork yet. We need to. Dust cool and then leap hard. Is getting white coat cards. What is going on? Ah, oh, I know what's going on. Prove my theory that the last Charizard packs. I don't know. Just, that the last Charizard packs are black coat cards. Let's see. I'm telling you. What? Cool. Okay. These last four packs are the same. I'm gonna lose it because literally it's. This is proving. My theory of how. Whoa! I literally told you. Wait, is that a double dust bowl? Oh no, that's Tom Chow. Dude! Literally black code card! What is happening? Okay. This last pack. Oh, okay. It's Cap. I'm Cap. I wasted my time today. Okay. Starly, Trumish, Piplup, Hurtwing, Minchcow, Pumplup, and Heroxis. Let's open it like this. It's quicker. Alright, and a Dusky Noir Hollow. It's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna put these to the side. I need a better angle. I'm gonna take the code card out. Eight code cards. Same with V Star marks. Okay. Yeah, we got a Charizard. I see a V back there. Grimer, Shanks, the Doof. <sighs> Alright, Drompa. I'm down for Drompa. Alright, and then the rest Starvia and Lucaria Hollow. So the black coat cards did not have any hits. All we got was a drop of V. I'm so happy with that. Uh, we got a really good, decent amount of hits. I'll show you guys right here. So we got drop of V, Raichu, Houndoom, Sylveon, Roku, Acceleremi, Wimscott, RCS V Star, and Charizard, and Warpeko. And Orangu. Thank you guys for watching. I will bring it to you next time. I'm Pokedag. I'm out. Peace.